Hi guys and welcome to this video about YouTube, music and copyright and how it works. This is a question I get a lot from people and DJs that want to upload their music and other people's music to YouTube. And uh, first you need to realize that all music videos and pictures are copyright protected and owned by somebody. And uh, to deal with that, YouTube has a content ID program that identifies all music and videos that is uploaded to YouTube. Let me show you how it works. I have an artist alias named Hertz. I have a track that I wrote named Big Bang and I own the record label Sway. So when I feed YouTube with my master track, it identifies my track from all videos on YouTube from this day and yeah, forever basically. So um, here you can see other uploads from other people that's been using my track on other channels. But at the, at the same time, you can see that all copyright and eventually any money goes to the uh, Sway company. So uh, even if you upload my track on other channels, yeah, the payment will, will go to me. And for me, that's perfect and okay if other people want to upload my music onto their channels as it will spread my name and my song to a wider audience. So, here I've done a mix of some Italo Disco tracks from the 80s and uh, as you can see, the content ID recognized the tracks as fun fun and uh, yeah, everything is in order. I'm still able to use the track but the money from any advertising and stuff goes directly to them. All copyright holders can choose whether they want other people to spread their music or not. And sometimes they block the content in regions or in countries and sometimes all over the world. So it's impossible to upload other people's music on your channel and even play, play them back then, of course, because they're blocked. So, if you do a DJ mix, you can be pretty sure that one or more tracks will be blocked. And that's why I'm always referring to my Mixcloud page as well, where the full length mix is always available. To deal with a blocked track, you need to either cut out that track off your mix and upload the whole mix again without a track, or you can use the YouTube Studio tools to cut out that track in that environment, but it will be totally out of sync or simply remove the music, but then that part will be totally empty and silence, you know, and not so fun, if you ask me. The Content ID program is always active and their database is joined by more tracks from day to day basis. And it could take like in this case with Fun Fun over a year for the Content ID to identify the track in that mix. The worst thing that can happen to your YouTube channel is that you get a copyright warning. And if you get three warnings, your YouTube channel will be shut down. And uh, that's really not what you're looking for. I got this warning twice. And uh, the first time I got it was when I went to a Nils Fram concert in Gothenburg. And I video recorded some bits and just uploaded a little video of uh, not the whole concert or anything, but just some small snippets from the concert. The copyright holder in London weren't happy about it, so they sent out a warning and my whole channel got a copyright warning. I actually contacted them and directly and, and we sorted it out, so they withdrawn their warning and my channel didn't have any warnings at that point. The second time it happened to me was when I did an unofficial remix version of ABBA, Don't Shut Me Down. As some of you might know, I've done hundreds of remixes for all major record companies and also a lot of smaller independent companies. So I sent out my remix to all Universal crew and also Benny Andersson studio, but got absolutely no reply whatsoever. So I upload this remix to YouTube and People were all over the place, to be honest, very happy about the remix. But in a little while, I got this warning and the track was instantly removed. And as I said before, three strikes and you're out. So you don't want this warning. These warnings disappear after a couple of months. So now I'm clear again and without any warnings. But it's hard to know when you get a warning and for what. 
The basic rule is that you can't use anybody else's music. But how do you do a DJ mix if you can't use other people's music? That's impossible. Okay, that's how Content ID works and uh, YouTube and copyright. So uh, now you know. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel and also get my app so you can listen to all my mixes I've ever done. Until next time, take care.